Hey everybody, Stevie P. As you can see, I'm walking. Ask someone who knows me. That is my taxi guy who honked, probably with a sad heart, thinking he's walking. Walking doesn't help the economy. However, I'm losing a bunch of weight, so so that's good. Um, most of it is probably sweat. I am in Katali, Kenya, and it is beautiful. I was in Malindi with my friends, Larry and Francine. That's where they've just moved. And uh, they are doing some work there and some work here from there. They have an amazing team here. And uh, had an amazing opportunity to go out to uh, Pokot, Turkana border and uh, do some medical mission with some of the older people there and bring some food and the gospel to people who already know but it's always awesome to see how happy people are when you show up with things they need whether it's spiritual physical mental or for the belly. So definitely we were welcomed. You know these moments though they open a door that you can never quite close. Um, you see some things, some needs that we all know are out there but until you're face to face with it it's a thing you know but not a thing you know. right? Kenya is a beautiful country full of amazing people. For the most part, everyone is super friendly and, and loving and caring, but the lack of money in some situations leads to some complete and utter desperate situations and, and neglect like very few see in the West. You know, people are like, oh, why Why do you want to send money overseas when there's people at home hurting? And the reality is, at home, we have health care for everyone. We have a social net. We have social services. We have child welfare services. We have police that, for the most part, do their job, even if the courts fail on so many occasions. And in some parts of the world, it's just so different. If if the money isn't there, then kids are abandoned. And if a child is sick or has special needs, right? those medicines can be more than a family earns. And as sad, sad as it is to say, sometimes families cut their losses because they, they just can't, they just can't. And those kids, they fall through these cracks and are never seen again in some cases, you know? I know it happens all around the world, which definitely doesn't make it easier. But when you touch it, it is more real than anything. Support the missionaries. Support the people that are on the ground. Don't send money to these massive organizations that spend 80% of their money on promoting what they're doing. Yes, they're helping, but so much money goes into marketing and wages, and so much of that money gets diverted. And if you know someone who is overseas doing the work that I don't know if I can emotionally handle. There's a side of me that wants to go and fix the problems in a way that is not godly. Right? Those people that are hurting kids in the most horrific ways. 
that dad side of me. Like Jesus slipping the tables, right? Anger is not wrong. It's just got to be used right. You got to control it. But man, it's hard. It is hard when you see what these kids go through. And I can't make all the money that I need to fix all the problems that I see. So I need some of you guys to get behind this. I don't care if it's one time. Find someone who is doing something. Skip a dinner out. Because that 50 bucks or that 100 bucks, that, that buys medicine. That buys food. That might buy a couple months of school. Hey, bro. How are you? Good. Uh, totally not crying. Support the people who are doing that. Because they're making a difference. Love you guys. Go on the mission field. It'll mess you up. Just go with an open heart and be like, it's up to you, God. You'll never be the same. Amen. 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 Amen.